Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you've not been here before, and thank you so much for watching this video. You guys, I have not done an Abercrombie haul in so long. I looked back at my purchase history, and I think the last time I purchased something was literally last fall. I don't know why I haven't done one in so long because I do love the store so much. So, I mean, I'm glad I'm doing one today. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I'll be sure to link all the pieces that I'm showing you guys down in the description box as well as my Instagram, my Poshmark my lip kit if you guys want to shop that, my presets and dust overlays if you guys enjoy the way I edit on Instagram, and my camera details, and I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm so excited. All right, let's start out with jeans because I feel like they're the main event, and that's like one of my big like draws to Abercrombie. So let's just start there. So first off, I wanted to show you guys the 90s straight ultra high rise jeans. I think these were having like a moment on TikTok or something. You guys, it feels so old. I'm like never actually on TikTok just cause I feel like I get lost. How am I so old? Anyways, look how cute these are. I love the busted knee so much. These fit so nicely too, and they're so comfortable. So I got them in a size 25 short. I think the 25 is a good move. I could probably size down to a 24 if I wanted to, um, but I probably would just hang on to the 25 because I just like how they feel. And I feel like the 24 would probably fit better in the waist, but like in the bum and the thighs, I really like how this 25 fits. They're so comfortable, like that nice vintage feel to them, but they also have stretch, which is so nice. I do love a stretch jean as much as I love like that very stiff, very vintage look stretch is just like so much more comfortable. I love the wash too. I think it is so pretty. Like I said, I did get a short size and I do regret getting a short. I'm actually going to exchange these for a regular fit um, just because I feel like they're a little too short. I am like in between like 5'3 and 5'4. I'm literally I think five, three and a half or something. And so short sizes sometimes work for me and sometimes they don't. So in this case it didn't, but I still think these jeans are very cute and I love them so much that I'm for sure exchanging them for the correct size. So yeah, I am definitely a fan of the nineties high rise straight, ultra high rise, I think. Yeah, ultra high rise. Um, and yeah, could not recommend them more. Next up, I picked up another pair of jeans that is actually pretty similar. These are the dad high rise. So this is the lighter wash. These are more of a medium and these are a little bit lighter. These are a bit more of like, not fully acid wash, but it's kind of got that effect up at the waistline, especially. They're a really nice high rise. These are a little bit more stiff than the previous pair that I showed you guys, but they're still really comfortable. I love the busted knee once again. These do have more of a relaxed fit to them, which I really like. And once again, I did get a 25 short. And once again, I probably should have gotten a regular because they do feel a little bit short on. I think they're super similar, just What's a little bit different in my opinion is the feel of them. Like I said, these are a little bit more stiff, a little bit more relaxed. So if that's the fit that you want, I would pick these over the 90s ultra high rise. But regardless, I think they're both really cute pairs of jeans. Something that I love about Abercrombie is they don't actually have the label on the back. I think that's just a really cool detail and I really like that about them. But overall, I think they're a really cute pair of jeans. Um, I just think comfortable Comfort wise for me, I will choose the 90s over the dad. Next up, you guys, these are such a good pair of faux leather jeans. I die for the shine. The shine more than anything, I think is so pretty, so chic, such a good high rise as well. And they fit amazing. I got them in a size 24 short once again, and I do regret that I got them short. I think that they're a tiny bit too short for me, but that's something that I just love about Abercrombie is oftentimes like most of their pants come in four different size options. You've got the regular short, 
extra short and tall. So I think that's really cool. I feel like oftentimes there's either like regular or tall. We don't always get like petite or um, shorter sizes, which is kind of weird, honestly, because I feel like most of the girls that I know are like my height. So I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me. Anyways, sidetracked. The pockets are very cute. They're super comfortable on. I just love the shine, like I said. And leather skinny jeans are just such a necessary staple for me during this season. So I'm definitely a fan of these. I think they're just honest to God, so beautiful. So I've got one more pair of jeans. These are the 90s relaxed jean and they are also a high rise fit. I will say out of all the denim that I showed you guys, these are the most rigid, but they definitely feel the most like vintage. I think these are such a dope pair of jeans. I got them in a size 25 short and the short length is actually really good on me for these. I love this cutout right here. I'm actually going to take another pair of jeans um, that I have and use these like as a model to show where exactly to cut the rip because I just think it is so perfect. I really like the fit as well. It's got kind of more of a cinched waist and then it kind of bags out a little bit. They're really, really cute. Just kind of different. If I wore heels more, I would definitely want to get the regular length because I feel like this type of jean will look so chic with a pair of heels. But anyways, I really like these ones a lot too. They are a bit more rigid. And I will say the 25 feels a little bit snug on me. I think I probably would want to size up to a 26 in these just because they are a little bit more of that rigid denim. But overall, I think they are so cute. Abercrombie just crushes it with denim. I don't understand how they do it. Okay, I actually picked up two pairs of these shorts. I know we're like going into fall, but it's honestly gonna be 800 degrees here until probably end of October. So I still got plenty of time to wear shorts. And I just think these are so cute. I actually picked up two sizes because I wasn't sure what was gonna fit better. These are the dad shorts and these are the like kind of crisscross detailing at the waistline. Um, I picked up a 25 and a 24. And honestly, both of them fit really, really well. I could not decide for the life of me which ones I wanted to keep because they both fit me so well. The 24 fits a little bit better in the waist. I feel like the 25 fits a little tiny bit baggy in the waist, but I think that the 25 overall is gonna feel a little bit more comfortable to me. I love the bagginess of them as well. Like they're just honestly the perfect pair of shorts. The wash is so nice as well. I love the distressing. These are such a good pair of shorts and you can totally get away with wearing a pair of shorts and like a sweater or a big sweatshirt or something in the fall. I think that looks really, really cute and honestly is, for sure a bit more realistic for me here in Arizona just cause it's a million degrees out. Like why does it have to be this way? Okay, moving on to tops. I might as well talk to you guys about this one that I have on right now before I forget. I love, I know I've talked about this a million times on my channel, but I love a button down. There's just something about wearing like a button down open that I just love. And this one is so beautiful. I picked it up in a size medium and honestly, I could probably go for a large. Like I love them big and oversized and it fits me nice, like big and oversized everywhere, except for like the sleeves. I just want them to be a little bit more relaxed. I'm so weird, but I love this material. It's kind of got this like sheerness to it and it's got little stripes throughout. This top comes in a few different colorways. There's a beautiful lavender colorway, I believe. Like I saw some cute like blue stripes. So there's lots of different options and I just think that this is such a nice little staple for your closet, especially as the weather gets a little bit colder. Say it's like a little bit more of a warmer day out and you just wanna wear a tank top and then bring something to throw on over you if you get cold, like, there's just nothing like an oversized button down. I just love it. Okay, now for the absolute coziest sweatshirt I've literally ever put on my body. 
You guys, this sweatshirt, I need one for every single day of the week because I'm obsessed. So this is the soft a &F collection. I don't even know how else you would describe it because it's literally just like the softest, coziest material ever. It's got this cute little button down collar situation, which I think is so cute and like little preppy vibes. I picked up this beautiful cream color in a size large because I want it to be nice and boxy and big and oversized and boy did it deliver it's got this cute little slit on the sides and honest to god you guys it's just so comfortable and i am so excited to wear the heck out of this sweatshirt i need more colors and i need i mean even if i don't have more colors i just need this exact same sweatshirt and like seven different sweatshirt so I can wear it every day of the week. I love it. Next up, I have a couple cute little bodysuits to show you guys. First off is this very adorable sweater bodysuit, which would look so cute with this little button down over it as well. I love this color. It's like a very rich kind of brown, almost like burgundy color it's so pretty the little neckline is so cute with this like little sweetheart vibe it's very comfortable on i will say it's a little bit like plunging for me um so i don't know if i just need to size down i did get an extra small um or if maybe it just needs to be altered for me but it's a little bit scandalous at moments if I'm not careful but I still think it's a very very cute bodysuit super comfortable and a perfect like transitional piece for fall I also picked up this one that I shouldn't have laid down next to the next piece I'm going to show you guys because it's got lint all over it now but nevertheless, still very cute. It is this very adorable little cutout bodysuit. Hope you guys can see. It's got like a cute little mock neck situation. And then it has like a very cute little cutout here. I love a top with cutouts. There's just something so fun and special about them. Gives it a little bit of edge. It's black, so it's very like basic. You can wear it with so many different outfits. And like I said, it's a beautiful bodysuit, very basic, but it's got that really cool edge to it. This material is very comfortable, very flattering. I really like this one. And I think this bodysuit came in a couple different colors as well. Last up, we have a very quintessential fall piece that would actually look so cute also over this little button down. I love a sweater vest. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the whole sweater vest trend when it came up last year. And then I actually tried one on and I fell in love. And I thought that this one was so beautiful. I love the black stripes throughout. It's very boxy, which is perfect for wearing like over a situation like this. But you could also wear this on its own with maybe a little bralette underneath. I did pick it up in a size small cause I wanted to make sure it was nice and boxy and I should have gone for an extra small because it's a little bit too big on me. But regardless, the material is so soft and so comfortable and you can tell it's very high quality. So I'm definitely a fan of this little sweater vest. All right, you guys, that is it. Once again, I'm very excited that I was able to do this Abercrombie haul. It's been so long, way too long, but hopefully I'll have more coming in the near future because I need to bring them back. Like, what am I doing? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!